Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I wanted to explain how to emit uh, RPD objects live. And this is uh, something that we need to s properly set up system to test uh, a feature that we're going to need later. So the first thing, I'm going to create a box. Okay. And I'm going to move this up like that. And I'm going to create a line. And I'm going to Voronoi fracture this guy to get uh, multiple boxes. Okay, set 15, something like that. And I want to uh, add a box here. And I want to set these guys to be an RBD object. And then I want to emit a box hitting them every couple of frames. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create um, an RBD system. I'm going to use the shelf to save time. So RBD packed objects and let's create a ground. Not gravity. And I don't understand why side effects changed the merge to mutual by default. I'm going to fix that right now. Uh, it's only when you use the shelf, okay. So we have to make sure that's left input effects, right input. Okay, so our boxes are working. And I want to add a box here and emit that every couple of frames. So I'm going to delete this rigid body thing. And I'm going to create multi-solver. And I'm going to create a sub-solver. And I'm going to create a bullet bullet solver. So the data is this guy, and then I want to first run the bullet solver. Okay, and then we want to run the sub solver next. So what we want to do is we want to add an RBD object to this guy. By default, the sub solver is going to bring in multiple things, and the one I'm interested in is the dot geometry. And I'm going to create a box. And let's put down a transform node and rotate this guy. And let's move it up like that. And I'm going to merge it with the RBD system. Okay, if we go back now and hit play, we're going to see that box pop in screen but nothing happens not being affected by gravity nothing really so what we need to do is we need to convert this into a packed primitives a packed primitive so uh, take on the create pack geometry I don't need connect inside faces because it's just a box and let's go back up and now we have continuous emission great so let's add uh, an enable solver I don't want this to be running continuously and I'm going to use an expression here if dollar f modulo 4 is equal equal to 0 this is going to be uh, true every four frames so this expression here modulo is gonna start 0 1 2 3 4 and then um, uh, it's gonna loop basically okay so it's gonna be this expression is gonna be true every four frames so if we hit play See, now it's emitting boxes every four frames. And what we need to do is we need to set up some velocity on this guy. So I'm going to create a wrangle node and val equal zero, zero. And I'm going to give it a value of 150 along the Z axis, negative Z axis. And let's go back up. And now it's shooting. It's really fast. So let's uh, tune it down. Okay, cool. So we have continuous emission and let's change this to 8. So it emits one box every 8 frame. And I want to randomize this uh, this guy here. So I'm going to multiply it by a random number that is based on the frame. And that's going to give us 0, 1, 2, and let's add an offset because the this guy returns between 0 and 1 
and I don't want to have uh, zero at all, so 0 0.05. I'm gonna add plus that, and let's put parentheses here so we make sure the addition happens first, and then the multiplication. Now, one last thing I, I want to fix is this assemble node is creating a name attribute that is the same every frame. I, I don't like that because that's going to be confusing to the system, and I want to I want to fix that. So I'm gonna. Uh, uh, set up the name again. I'm gonna call this box new and what we want the box name to be is uh, I wanted we wanted to have a unique number. Okay, so the to the Number the unique number is going to be the total number of RBD objects. So let's say we have We have 10 objects. I want the new box to be number 11 and then the next frame if we add a new object uh, I want that to be number 12 and so on and so forth. And so what we, if we middle click here, see we have 14 uh, RBD objects, 14 points. And I'm going to use that total number of points to number this box. And I'm going to connect the second input here and say the name is uh, this string. And I want to append to it and uh, join it with the total number of points, which is n points from the second input so this is going to give us 14 but we cannot merge a string with the with an integer so we need to use the i to a to convert an integer to a string and let's add an underscore here and now if we go back and take a look here it's number 14 okay we don't want the the exact number so uh, we want to offset it by one so plus one here and now if we take a look it's 15 and that's gonna change every frame so let's go back and let's find the name attribute and you can see 15 16 17 and it's not colliding with any of these guys. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And we're gonna use this to uh, uh, we're gonna use the system to create a, a more advanced constraint that we can use for the metal bending and all kinds of uh, deforming constraints. So we'll do that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in a bit.